Welcome to Turning Tuesday. This week I made a Purple Heart Bolt Action Pen. This pen is simply gorgeous. It's a follow on from the Not a Bolt Action. I made these at roughly the same time and they were extremely enjoyable. I hope you enjoy the process. As with most weeks, this is a video of the process through to completion. If you'd like more details on any aspects, please ask in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you've got any tips, please reach out. This portion of the video is me drilling out the center so that I can insert the brass barrel that allows me to attach the mechanisms of the pen and get it done. You can see I'm just taking a quick measure of the barrel there and now I'll take the chuck off so I can get turning. Typically, I'll turn around the 2000 RPM mark when I'm doing pens. Sometimes I go faster, it just depends on what I'm working on. The harder the wood, the faster I turn because the smoother it cuts. The motion you're seeing here is me leaning from one foot to the other, transferring the pressure. That's how I move left to right, so as it looks like in this, right to left. I do both ways because that allows the wear on the tool to be pretty even. I'll now speed this up, up and get this done. main turn is now complete we'll move into the sanding once again 150 grit up to 600 I allow the lathe to do most of the work and then I do left to right along the grain just to remove any additional marks that may be there With the sanding now complete, I'm going to bring out a little zipper lighter, a miniature blowtorch. Applying some heat allows the purple to come out as the wax and oils within the purple heart react with it. It would do this naturally, but the client asked specifically for the purple to be brought out quicker.
And gave it a quick sand just to take any rough edges that it created out of it. Sanded a little bit too far and lost some of the purple. That black bit spinning around was the loose fibre. Moving on to the finish now, just applying the first coat. I had a little bit of glue stuck on the tip, so it wasn't coming out. So I just stepped away, fixed that, and then came back. I'm using EVA foam here. I find this craft foam really gets a nice smooth finish after it. It doesn't have the risk of paper towel or microfiber where the glue will actually stick to it. Next thing you know, you've got fibers all through your finish. This comes out beautiful and crystal clear. Doing some layers, putting some accelerator on, allowing it to dry, checking that it's actually gone dry, getting rid of any accelerator, and doing another layer. You may have noticed the sun's starting to creep in there. It's really making that purple pop in this video. Now I turn the speed up to about 1200 RPM while I'm applying the finish it's only about 250 so I speed it up and get the micro mesh process happening this is what I call the smoothing process it's not the actual polish the polish I use a couple of other methods after Just switched into real time to finish this off. This is the last layer of the micro mesh. Running my finger along, feeling very happy with how this has come out.
Moving into the assembly part. I start by pressing the ends together. I'm just checking which end is the best fit. Sometimes I can't remember which is which. chose to use the press the opposite way around on this one because it's got a broader base there's actually a hole in the center of the black pen press section whereas the other side is a flat metal moving into the photos i hope you enjoy these photos and like and subscribe i really enjoyed this pen and i believe it came out gorgeous